guys, a lot of you in the comments of our videos are asking about those sweet, sweet sunglasses I wear. Those are called Dylan Optic sunglasses and they are the official eyewear of the smoking tire. These glasses are incredible. With NIR lens technology and two polarizers, they keep your eyes from hurting at the end of a long day in the sun, plus they look extra cool. And I wanted to come and tell you guys that they have three new frame styles, all new frame styles on their website, which you can get different colored signature matte finish lenses just like the ones I wear. Check them out by going to thesmokingtire.com and click on the Dylan tab under the Partners menu and we will give you a free Smoking Tire t-shirt if you buy a pair of Dylan Optics sunglasses. Hey guys, welcome to Auto Club Speedway in Fontana, California. Race car time. This is a uh, 2002 Mustang Cobra uh, uh, Grand Am GS race car won the championship in period and now it's here uh, for the SVRA Sports Car Vintage Racing Association Vintage Races. Now you could go out and get a Miata and race or you could get some kind of lesser powered, lesser expensive new car or you can go vintage racing in a beast Mustang. And so uh, the SVRA and this car's uh, wonderful owner, uh, Brad, have uh, invited me out to have a quick go and see what it's like to drive something like this uh, on track uh, with a track all to myself. So under the hood is a 450 horsepower 5 liter dual overhead cam V8, 6 speed gearbox, independent rear suspension, all production based stuff but uh, beefed up quite heavily. Uh, I hope you'll be able to hear me and uh, pretty soon we're going to find out. So let's, uh, let's hit the track. I'm going to fire this thing up. Okay. And uh, it sounds like a beast. It's quite comfortable. Am I good? Let it warm up for 15 seconds. Okay. Just uh, so it is an independent rear suspension, production based. Car weighs 3,200 pounds, full cage, fuel cell. This is a race car since new. It was never a street car. Uh, it was built by Steeda uh, for customer racing. They built three of them. And, uh, and now it's out here doing some vintage racing. It actually does qualify for vintage racing. I'm ready when you are. So I'm just, I'm only gonna get three laps. So, you know, I'm not setting the world on fire with this thing. Hopefully I'm not setting the car on fire either, but it's a lovely treat. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to be able to do this. So thanks for coming along with me. I've also, I'm introducing the Pelodi pedal cam. Pelodi shoes sent me these lovely driving shoes. And uh, now I got a camera on them for you. There we go. All right. Four hundred and fifty horsepower at eight thousand RPM. Nice direct gear linkage. Pretty easy. We'll merge our way out here. And I'm going to use my first couple laps to get a feel for the track and the car. We are on Hoosier Slicks. Six piston, uh, big, big Willwood brakes up front. Oh, and they are quite effective, it seems, at first. Nice, cold, slick tires. Steering is extremely light. Oh, I have a, uh, I have a pace truck on track. Uh, well, hopefully there's been communication of what's going on because I'm definitely allowed to be here. All right, brake pedal nice and tight. My seat is on a slider and it is sliding around a little bit. Listen to that though. my seat moving back and forth but car feels nice and planted trying to get used to all the controls also I haven't been on this track in two years wow there's cones all over the middle of the track good power good torque Oh, it feels nice on the blip. 
minutes, huh? Sounds really good. There's cones all over the fucking track. What is the deal with that? Why are there cones everywhere? All right, rev limiter is kicking in at 6,000 RPM. They said they were trying to work on that, yep. The rev limiter is not quite happy. In the fifth gear, no speedometer. I got no idea how fast I'm going. But the car feels good and planted. Down into fourth is the Roval Titans. I doubt I'm even gonna get, Jesus, there's a fucking pace truck on the track. This isn't good. Uh, well, I didn't see that guy until the very last minute. So that is extra sketchy. Let's hope there's nothing else out on the track that they haven't warned me about. Other cars, deers, children, whatever. Real sketch. What's odd about this car is there's basically no steering feel. Uh, what's good about the car is that it rides really well. It has a beautiful ride quality, actually. It's not too stiff. Uh, really, really bizarre that they've got trucks out here for this. That's not really how I would ideally test a race car. Uh, but, you know, okay. Whatever you guys got to do, I guess. Beggars can't be choosers. Little bit of push right down at that apex, but I would say that I probably don't have quite enough heat in the tires as I navigate these cones. The shifter is a little far away from my hand, which is odd. I would, sh but it's so notchy and good. I'm feeling that. Let's hit this curve. Yeah, it really takes curves well. That I like a lot. Sounds amazing. The engine is a dual overhead cam production base, but it's punched out to 5.0. And it's got a soundtrack to match. Originally in period, this car ran with a supercharged motor and then it switched to this one for class rules. That truck better not still be here. There's that truck, that's sketchy. Extremely sketchy. I'm shocked they let that happen. The pedals are a little weird, it's tough to heel toe, spacing isn't quite right, but I really like the way it gets the power down though. Little push on power, but Wow, I blew that apex so badly. Weird cones in the runway. Yeah, it's definitely breaking up at five grand. They thought they had that sorted out, but apparently not so much. God, the sound of it is just incredible, though. I could get used to this. Now, it does need to be said that as far as cost of entry goes, Brad, the owner, was considering buying a spec Miata when he bought this. So, I don't know how much more this thing costs than a spec Miata, but presumably it can't be that much if he's cross shopping. And SVRA is pretty cool, man. The cars out here on the track today are pretty impressive. 
got a bit of a vibration there at speed. Is that truck still here? I can't tell. I gotta go back in on this lap, but... Come on! There's the truck. Oh, my foot slipped right off the brake there. That was awful. My game is not tight right now. Look, look, up. eyes up, Farrah, eyes up. There we go. Now I got a little bit of heat in the tires. Some of that push in the mid corner has gone away. I don't have the confidence to go flat through here because it's not my car, but that's cool. Look down, look down, look down. Wait, 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 lift and on. I just don't know what's happening with the steering. My, my, the rest of my body has to tell me because my fingertips are not doing it. Hit these curbs. Yeah. This IRS really handles the curbs really well. All right. They're making me pit right now, which means we are coming to the end of our video. But... That was a really neat experience. The more and more I drive these vintage cars, the more I'm, I'm finding the appeal in vintage racing. Um, the cars are, I mean, this car is not that fast. I can manage it. Uh, once I got some heat in the tires and, uh, you know, I might mess with the pedals a bit. I, that takes some getting used to. Three laps is, is not really all that much uh, from cold, you know, to, to, to going quick, but, the more I drive these vintage cars, the more I like the idea of vintage racing. The, uh, there's not as much contact. Um, there is uh, this sort of camaraderie around, among the vintage guys that uh, you don't get as much in the, in the modern race cars. And so, uh, wow, what a neat experience that was. That's, that was definitely something I don't get to do every day. Uh, I know I didn't exactly put on uh, a world-class display of driving there but uh, you know what I came out and had fun I learned a lot about vintage racing you can get it like this car doesn't look that old but it's eligible for vintage racing now and so you could get into a car like this that's had a career I mean this car won a, won a championship this is a real car and uh, and that was super cool so go in the description check out Scotto Cellars that's Brad's wine company and uh, he let me do this, so I would do that plug for him. Uh, Scotto Cellars. Uh, I hear the wine is very good. I haven't gotten to try some because I was driving. But, uh, and also, you know, if you are into vintage racing uh, or the idea of vintage racing or, or getting into racing, uh, there's a lot of neat cars around here. SVRA uh, seems like a very interesting organization. And, uh, wow. Thank you, and thanks for watching. I'll see you later.